Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, hypotenuse is represented by lowercase uh, c, its uh, base uh, side is represented by lowercase a, and this uh, side uh, AC is represented by lowercase b. And keep in mind that side length uh, b is uh, less than uh, a, and furthermore, the perimeter of this uh, right triangle is uh, 336 uh, units, whereas uh, its area is uh, 3360 square units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of these uh, side lengths uh, A, B, and uh, C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the perimeter of this given uh, right triangle is uh, 336. And we know that the perimeter adjusts uh, simply the sum of these uh, three side lengths of the triangle, as you can see in this uh, equation. And now we are going to replace the, this uh, perimeter by 336 uh, over here. So therefore we can write uh, A plus B plus C equals to 336. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And here's our next step since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle. So therefore let's recall the Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me call this our equation number two. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base times height. And in our case, our base is represented by lowercase a and height is represented by lowercase p. And the area is 3360. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks this one in this formula. So this is 3360 equals to 1 over 2 times uh, a b and now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction so i'm going to multiply this side by 2 and over here on the left hand side uh, by 2 as uh, well and now we can see 1 over 2 and 2 they are gone so therefore our a times b value turns out to be 6720 let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, three. And now we can see that we got a system of these uh, three equations. And now we are going to solve uh, for A, B, and uh, C values. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation one. And here I have copied it down. And now let me go ahead and move this uh, C to the right hand side. Let me go ahead and take a square on uh, both uh, sides of these uh, equations. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So the left hand side could be written as uh, and now let's recall another identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2ab. And we are going to apply it on the right hand side uh, of this equation. So therefore right hand side turns out to be 112,896 plus c square minus uh, 672 times uh, c. And now let's make an observation. We can see that a square plus b square equal to c square from this equation too. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, a square plus b square by c square. And likewise uh, over here a times b is equal to 6720 from this equation uh, 3. I'm going to replace this uh, a times b by 6720 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see that this c square and this c square they are uh, gone. And in this uh, next step 2 times 6720 gives us uh, 13,440 and now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 112,896 uh, from both uh, sides we can see this is uh, gone and on the left hand side we are going to get uh, negative uh, 99 for 56 uh, equal to negative 672 times uh, c 
and now we are going to divide both sides uh, by negative 672 to isolate uh, see we can see that this uh, is uh, gone so therefore uh, c turns out to be equal to 148 so thus our side length uh, c turns out to be 148 and here's our next step let's focus once again on this uh, equation uh, one and here I have copied it down and we know our C value is 148. I'm going to substitute C over here by 148. As you can see in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and subtract 148 uh, from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our A plus B value turns out to be 188. Let me call this our equation uh, number four. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 3, which is A times B equal to 6720. Let me go ahead and divide uh, both sides uh, by A. And we can see that this A and A cancels out. So therefore, our B value is going to be 6720 divided by A. And now I'm going to substitute uh, this B equal to this uh, value over here in this uh, equation uh, 4. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, this B by 6720 divided by A. And now let me go ahead and multiply across the board by A to remove uh, this fraction. I'm going to multiply A over here, A with this uh, second term, and A on the right hand side as well. And here A times A is going to give us uh, A square plus uh, this A and A cancels out. So we got uh, 6720 equals to 188 times A. And now let's go ahead and move uh, this uh, 188 times A on the left hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by using the quadratic uh, formula. And here's our well known uh, quadratic uh, formula that we will be using. And let's go ahead and tweak uh, this uh, quadratic equation to avoid any confusion. I'm going to replace this uh, a by dummy variable uh, x. Likewise, this I'm going to replace uh, this one by dummy variable uh, x uh, as well. So therefore, our this quadratic equation has become x square minus 188 times x plus uh, 6720 equal to zero. And now we can see our coefficient of uh, x square is uh, a equals to 1, b equals to negative uh, 188, and our uh, c constant uh, is uh, 6720. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic uh, formula. So I can write x uh, equal to minus, uh, and then b is uh, negative 188 plus uh, or minus the square root of negative 188 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 67 20 all over 2 times 1 and here i have simplified everything and now let's go ahead and split these two positive and negative signs as you can see in this uh, next step, I have put this one with the positive sign and this uh, other with the negative sign. So therefore, we are ended up with the two values of x, x equal to 140 and the other x value is uh, 48. As you can see our x values over here. And since we put uh, a equals to x as a dummy variable, so let me go ahead and plug it back uh, this uh, x as an a and likewise x over here a as well so therefore we are ended up with the uh, a equals to 140 value and the other value of a is uh, 48 and now let's recall the factor from the previous uh, equations our a plus b value equals to 188 and now let's go ahead and substitute this uh, a equals to 140 value in this uh, equation so therefore we got uh, 140 plus uh, b equals to 188. So let's go ahead and subtract uh, 140 from both sides. This is gone. So our b value turns out to be 48. 
So we can see in this uh, scenario, if A value is um, 140, then B is going to be equal to 48. And if we try this uh, second scenario where A equals to 48, then B is going to be equal to 140. And let's recall this factor, B must be less than uh, A value. So therefore, we are going to accept uh, this uh, first uh, scenario, A equals to 140 and B equals to 48 uh, value. So thus our A value turns out to be a 140 and uh, B value is uh, 48. So thus our A value turns out to be 140, B value is uh, 48 uh, and C value is 148 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.